it began really young, like six, when I would sneak into my mum's sewing room and eventually mum figured out what I was trying to do. Then she taught me how to sew. I think by the time I was 10, I could pretty much draft patterns from clothes that I already had. And I was doing everything like from, you know, dresses to go to special occasions to swimwear. But I didn't even realize that that's what I was doing. Um, to me, I was just a child and I was just playing. I actually, built my own label when I was still in high school that was like a little fashion adventure but I remember driving to the Gold Coast and taking all of these one-off original designs and pitching them to this um, very groovy boutique in Surface Paradise and that was still while I was in high school. I actually remember years later um, being at it was like a rave or something in Brisbane and, and I remember seeing one of my designs. It was the first time um, that I'd seen my work on somebody that I didn't know and just seeing it from afar and remember building it and having this massive sense of satisfaction that you know I'd created that and someone had purchased it and they didn't know it was mine and that was a really a gratifying moment um, as a designer. It took a very big break um, from fashion, a good decade, um, having my babies and, and, and being a mom and being a wife and, and living away from Australia, um, to actually miss it and begin to dream about it and begin to, you know, realize that it actually was a gift and, and that I would need to do something with it again one day. I really, really missed fashion design. I didn't even have a sewing machine with me. It was funny because the idea was that because I was so disconnected from the fashion industry after more than a decade, I, I thought up this idea that I would just have like this little home hobby business. I had a really, really great passion for um, the racing industry and racing fashion. And I thought, ah, oh, you know, I can make hats. And you know, I'd, I'd done some hats at fashion college and thought of um, a millinery label, have a little Facebook page and, you know, sell hats from home. And it went really well. It went so well that the little home hobby that it was meant to be um, didn't quite eventuate. I was working for Lady Gaga by mid-2014, so within 18 months I had been seen on Instagram, this tiny little Instagram account that I had, um, contacted by New York, um, began a four month project in the lead up to the um, Cheek to Cheek tour that Lady Gaga did with Tony Bennett. That was like the, the springboard back into fashion and particularly music fashion. I think where I want to be is um, I want to be doing a couple of trips a year to Nashville, um, in the, particularly in the country music industry. I just absolutely love country music artists. A lot of them come from rural backgrounds like myself, so I have a really strong connection to them. I would love, 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 love to be dressing some um, girls in the USA, so it's definitely on the cards. I think uh, with the idea that I originally decided for it to be a home business, a lot of it still is, so a huge portion of what I do is done from home in my home studio. I love that when I'm on a deadline, as stressed, as stressful as it can seem, you know, it can be three o'clock in the morning and if one of my kids wake up they just know that there's a glow in mummy's design studio and they hear the music and they can come in and they can get a cuddle in the middle of the night and I can walk them back to their room and lay with them for 20 minutes so I feel really blessed I absolutely am living the dream the success that I'm you know achieving around my work but I also get to do the majority of it from home um, and I think it's a really beautiful example to my children um, because they are you know they're my, my favorite audience in the world it really is like a, it's a beautiful example for your children to see you working hard at something that you absolutely love um, and I hope that it inspires them to find their passion at something that they love to do too.